Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? It's Wolf Kingdom here coming to you with another YouTube video. Uh, it's part three of the Dark Souls Let's Play, so let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, last time where we left off at was taking out the boss in uh, the last area. Sorry, I'm going blank on the name on High Wall. Uh, so we just defeated him. Uh, so now we're going to head on over to Undead Settlement and head here. Now the one thing I like about Undead Settlement is they've got a PC here, an NPC that you can grab like the uh, thief guy that we grabbed in High Wall. Well this guy is better because he can give you free five, uh, free, uh, five free level ups. Uh, so that can actually do a decent amount for you and decent things for you. So let's go ahead and go grab him before we go any further into here. It's really not that hard to find him. He's fairly one of the easier boss, not bosses, sorry, uh, NPCs to find. So what you want to do is come to this fallen cart with the two dogs and kill them. So now that they're dead, you want to come over here. He'll be right here to the right. So let's go ahead and grab him. Oh, oh then it's true. A champion of Ash as I live and breathe. To be in your presence is a great honor. I am Yol of Londor, a pilgrim as you can see, only somehow I failed to die as was ordained. Well, perhaps my calling lies elsewhere. Say, champion of Ash, how does the idea of taking me into your service strike you? I was once a sorcerer. Surely I can be of use. And you want to accept his services, guys. Truly. I should be dead. Yet you have granted me purpose anew. I, Yol of Londor, do solemnly swear myself to you. And then he'll vanish, guys. So he'll head back to Firelink Shrine, and I'll show you in a later video, uh, probably today, uh, where he is. Uh, and what to do to get the free five level ups. So I'll show you guys that a little later. So let's go ahead and get up here to the second bonfire. Second bonfire is fairly easy to get to. Uh, so these dogs will come out of this gate, uh, bent as hell, wanting to say hey. So we're just going to, uh, try and ditch them if we can. Doesn't seem like we might not be able to, but let's just see if we can grab this first. That way we can grab bonfire. Dodge. Okay, we're not going to dodge them, so might as well kill them. You're not killing me. And then we're going to kill this little Scrooge here. Now these guys, you can interrupt their attacks by rolling into them. See, like that. So these guys are fairly easy to kill. Uh, I call them the Scrooges or the Scarecrows because they kind of look like a Scarecrow just without a stick. So uh, let's go ahead and head on up here now uh, to the next area of this park. So let's go ahead and watch out for him. Let's head up in here. Now watch out for the pitchfork guys because they do have a little bit of distance with that thing and it does get a tad bit annoying. So he's gone. I'm gonna come in here, cut down this body. Grab the item off him. So, let's go ahead and come on down here. Grab this. Now, before anything else, one thing that you should know is these little guys like to drop down and say hey to you in here quite a bit. There's, I think, three or four. But for the thief, assassin, merchant guy, uh, you want to grab this for him so he can start selling you items. You want to grab that item uh, that dropped right here. Uh, so go ahead and grab this. Uh, and that's his friend that he wanted you to find out here. I'm going to run up past this chick because she can get annoying to kill. And say boing go up. Uh, just say bye bye. Because I'm not going to stay around and fight all these things. There's too many of them right now. And I don't really feel like fighting them. So I'm going to go ahead and go up, on, up here. And if you want to to get to the Sunbro Covenant, 
uh, this is the way that you want to go. Uh, but the first thing I would do is attack these guys. And apparently he detected me before I hit him. So let's go ahead and kill him. And then this guy is the same thing. So let's go ahead and uh, one hit him. Okay, maybe he's not the same. Never mind. There's only one of them up here. So to get to the Sunbro Covenant, you want to drop down here. And here's, you can just drink the Estus suit to get your health back and all this. Uh, Warrior Sunlight, go into your inventory and go here. Uh, pledge oneself uh, to the Warrior Sunlight Covenant. So there's that. Then there's Way of the Blue, pledge yourself to the Way of the Blue. Way of the Blue, if you get invaded by an enemy, like a PvP enemy or something. Uh, a random person, so say we were part of a different covenant, the covenant would come help us with, uh, cause the two kinda, two covenants intertwine with each other. Uh, and so one will need help to be summoned when getting invaded, the other one will come assist helping you. So, that's basically what it is there. So let's go ahead and come on down here. I'm just going to skip a lot of these guys because I really don't feel like killing them. And this guy is just a computer. Uh, he's not an actual player, but he's still hard like a player. So this will give you guys the first look at what an invading player will look like. They won't always look purple. Most of the time they will look red. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and kill him really fast. Uh, actually, before I kill him... I'm going to light this bonfire after killing that lizard, so I'm going to grab this so I can spawn back here and grab my souls if I die. So, let's go ahead and piss off Twinkle Toes up here and take him out. Uh, so... He is hard to a point. Because he's got a shield and all that, so let's just be a little bit careful on killing him. As you saw, he tried doing that shield bash, which was going to parry me. Uh-uh, no fireball or healing thing that you try and pull with me. No. Stop your healing. Stop it. Don't you dare try and fireball. Okay, he's doing sweat. Never mind. The hell is that? Okay, I, I've never seen that while fighting this guy. Looks like we had the same idea of what side to roll. Okay, he's gone, guys. You get a decent amount of souls for beating PCs uh, and also beating invaders. Like you saw, I just got 3,000. So let's go ahead and grab this. Now, let's go ahead and run on up here. I'm gonna show you guys a little trick with this area. Uh, so this guy, you can either kill or just ditch. Uh, so what I'm going to do is say hi to him. Hey buddy, how's it going? How's it going? Nah, I don't feel like dying. Uh, so, I mean, I could easily kill him, but I really don't feel like wasting about three minutes of dodging his attacks, hitting him, dodging, hitting, dodging, hitting. It, it, it doesn't seem worth it. Now, be careful in this area. This area is very dangerous. Those things, right there. You saw it. Uh, they will come out of the sky by a giant that's sitting up on a tower with a giant bow and giant arrows he will try and kill you because he feels like you're threatening this white tree right here so right now you want to come up here dodge this uh dodge that go ahead and roll into him so you don't get hit uh come on up here and we'll come back to that area after we make peace with the giant in a little bit and see he's aiming at me because he is not happy if you make peace with them those things won't hurt you so let's go ahead and open door now this will take us to another part of the area that I'm not going to go to right now so right now this is the boss fight area 
This is where I'm taking the password off. That me and my friends were using on one of my other characters. For some reason, it transfers between characters. It didn't used to do that, but it is now. So I'm going to go ahead and run back this way. So let's go ahead and go back in here. Actually, you know what? Before we go for the boss, let's go ahead and run on over here. And there's an item I want to grab, so that way I can show you guys where the other uh, two NPCs are that you can grab at this area. So you can come on down here if you want. Grab the scythe. Uh, it, it's a decent scythe if you're a scythe player. Okay, I don't get how he's hitting me up here. Um... Okay, like I said, the pitchfork can be annoying, really annoying. So can the hammers, because they will stun you. So, this item over here that I'm about to go grab is a item that you're going to need later in this area, and it's very helpful. So, be careful of that. Right here, these ashes. You need those for a key to get to a secret area uh, and open it up. So, let's go ahead and go down this way. Yeah, we're gonna head back and go up here because before we do that there's another covenant that i want to show you guys this is how you get the purple soapstone uh the way to get the purple soapstone is that area that you saw with the door where it takes you into that open area uh not the door i opened but the door behind it that had no door don't go in there if you want the purple soapstone sign. Uh, what it will do, it's not an actual purple soapstone. It's a covenant that makes your so your white sign for summoning purple. And so that way you can attack the host of the area that you invade. So, because you won't actually invade. Well, you do invade, but you can kill either the host or you can kill phantoms that the host summons. And for the Covenant, you more want to focus on killing the uh, phantoms that he summons, the people that he summons to try and help. Because you get a thing, this thing right... Where is it? This thing right here. Uh, vertebrae Shackles. You get that. So let's go ahead and get up here to this Covenant. It's called the Mound Maker Covenant. So you want to come along up here, uh, pop your way this way, and right before going to this door, you want to go through these barrels and up this cliff side. Be careful you don't get knocked off by those idiots. Go ahead and come up here. Now there will be a whole bunch of guys of those, and they can gang up on you and really do some decent amount of damage on you. So just be a little bit careful here. Because right now, as you can see, these guys are not too happy with me. So I'm going to go up here and kill these. That guy. Make him fall down there. Uh, I want these guys to kind of leave me alone if I can help it. But if I can't get up there, I'm going to have to kill... Yeah, I'm going to have to kill this, this guy. If he doesn't kill me first. Okay. Now one thing, you want to heal here really fast if you're hurt like I was. Climb up here. Now, to get to the Mound Maker Covenant, it's a little area that's underneath the boss fight that we're about to go to. You'll recognize the area later when I go to the boss in this area. So, what you want to do is go ahead and come to this roof side and drop down here. Now, don't worry. This guy is not hostile. Do not attack him. He has nothing in his cage, right? Not a single thing. Walk up to him. Like this, see, he's not hostile. Hey, buddy, come up behind his cage and examine, and this will happen. Go ahead and listen. Don't worry, guys, you're not dead. Well, you're kind of dead, but you're not dead. So.
So this is the area that you get the Mound Maker Covenant. So you come down here. Now this, you can only do this before the boss fight. If you start the boss fight once and don't beat him, it won't work either way. So you have to come over here to the scarecrow looking this pit ugly guy and talk to him. Indeed. It's him, but we So that's done. So now you just go back over to him. You don't have to grab that wood shield. Mound makers. You talk to just exhaust his dialogue. This you've <laughs> this pit you've <laughs> Okay, so now that you've got it. You're all done there. Now, the thing is, he gave you the Homeward Bone for a reason, so you can use it to go back to Bonfire Last Rested at. So, before we do that, we're going to go to the Shrine really fast, so I can show you guys what those ashes that we picked up were for, because we will need them to get to two PCs. Uh, I will probably do the boss fight next video, uh, because I want to show you guys one more thing before I end the video, because we're getting close to the 20-minute mark. So, once you have those uh, ashes that I showed you where to get them, you want to come on down here, save your soul so you can buy them, come up here and talk to her, give Ash, and then give her the ashes that you got from there. Purchase item, and come down here and purchase the grave key for 1,500 souls. One thing is, dead fingers you should get as well. Uh... If you want to summon more people at certain bosses. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Because I know of one boss we'll be at later in the video. That I would like to have help on. Because I can't beat him by myself. Um, I'm not that experienced at it. So uh, at beating that boss. Because he is a pain in the ass. Uh, in his first form. And then his second form is even more hard. So you'll see what I'm talking about later on. Uh, boss soul. I will keep that for now. I'm going to talk to her and see what I can do to level up. Because I want my dexterity and strength to be at something. Okay, I've already got that at what I need. So now I'm going to put points uh, into... No, that's magic. Uh, endurance and health for right now. Uh, try and level that up quite a bit. I would like to get both of those to around 35 uh, endurance and 35 health. Uh, so let's go ahead now that we have that grave key. Let's go back to undead settlement not the bridge uh, Not the third bonfire that you opened up after you uh, went down that back way After the sun makers you want to go to the second bonfire that you got right as soon as you come through the gate with the two dogs So that way I can show you uh, what this key is for So I will actually probably do the key for the PCs next video along with the boss fight um so let's go ahead and head on over here before the 20 minute mark uh come on through here say hi to ugly right here I don't know why I forgot to turn off my preferences again so I apologize so stop his attack so I don't know why I got a message. Yeah, I need to turn my notifications off when I do this. I apologize, guys. Um, okay, so I'm just going to dodge these guys. I don't feel like saying hi to them right now. So what you want to do is come on down here. Come back to the bridge that you went across to get to the Mound Makers. Go across here and say hi to ugly one and ugly two and watch out because those guys may follow you and i may have made a mistake so instead of trying to fight these assholes uh with their freaking firebomb and axe throwing bullcrap uh i'm gonna grab this item go ahead and come on out here before i get freaking raped by these guys watch out for droppy mcgee over here uh go ahead and open up this door uh, they can't attack you on certain doors when you're opening. You can't get hurt. Come over here. Don't go to the fire barrels because you'll die. Just drop down onto this ledge. Uh, what the hell? Pardon my language, guys. I apologize. It's just I don't understand why they keep following me. So here's the bonfire. Go ahead and light it. Uh, so now that this is lit, I'm going to kill 
these guys because apparently they won't let me rest at the bonfire and get my health back because these guys are on a death mission, so. Stop hitting the wall. Oh, fire gem. That's nice. Uh, fire gems are used to infuse weapons with fire, so they do fire damage. Uh, so that can be good for certain weapons. I'm not entirely sure if I'll use that on this weapon. So, one thing with the key. Actually, I'll show you in this video. It'll take about two minutes. So, come on down here. Come down here. Watch out for Ugly, but she already ag got aggroed. So, you want to try and dodge those as much as you can. Come on down here. Drop down to Rat Valley. Hopefully she didn't follow. The dog did, but she didn't. Okay, I don't know who this guy is that keeps messaging me and inviting me, but I don't play that game, dude. Okay, whatever. Just seriously, I don't understand why I forgot that. So with the key, you want to come on over here, and here's this gate. You want to open it before the fog. Come on down here. Descend. Now, I'm just going to do a quick run through this area so I can show you where the PCs are, the NPCs, and everything. I'm not going to worry about fighting anything. So watch out because skeletons do form down here with all these skeletons. See right there, you're seeing the skeletons be forming. Uh, so go ahead and come on down here. Go ahead and walk your way up here. Watch out, there's a machete-looking guy right there. Come on down here. Keep running. Now there's items down in this pit area uh, to the right when you come down. So I'm going to keep running because... Okay, he's going to keep obstructing my vision, isn't he? Until I kill him. So let's kill him really fast. So now that he's dead, you want to come right here. Drop. Uh, not drop. Sorry. Uh, yes, drop. Kill this rat. Climb up the ladder. And this will be, let's see, which P, uh, NPC. So you come up here. Now, you do this for a quest line for a PC, and I'll show you which one. You save her. Someone the doll. Little Creaser, please. Touch. Oh, and I am not. Ah, uh, yes. Yada, yada. You just exhaust her dialogue. Get her to oh, I, I uh, vanish or whatever. Oh. Accept her services. Allow her. Once she vanishes, come over here to here. Open this door and talk to this guy with the hammer. You'll be able to do his quest line now. And all you face now you've gone. How very quaint. <laughs> very well. I'm sick of looking after her at any rate. I like his armor. Especially his helmet. Knight of Karim. I am an o- oh, What's the matter? I am a land only for that. <laughs> what's the matter? I am a lie to you for as long and only. <laughs> okay, so now he's lying to us as long as we keep him, uh, keep her safe. So we're going to end it right here uh, for this video. So I'll talk to you guys later. Remember to like uh, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.